Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Publicist Thoughts. Today, we have got a update on Mr. Dr. Disrespects with him doing, la I think it was this week or this past weekend, I believe. He did a 20-minute response to the Twitch ban. And you know what? I have to believe what he's saying because it seems sincere. I don't know, and I don't know Guy or, you know, I... You know, I follow him because of the gaming and all that stuff. But, um, you know, he all played you all earlier when I did my video and all that, too. So, this is what he stated. Um, so, I get so he's demonetized right now on YouTube. And uh, he's reapplying for YouTube monetization on September 25th. Uh, we'll be streaming... And he's still going to be uh, streaming regardless and all that stuff, uh, which I believe he will. Um, I do think that he needs to diversify and stuff, you know. Uh, maybe he needs to talk to to, to uh, Rumble and all that in regards to what they could maybe offer him or something like that. But he seems to be doing okay and all that. But uh, in his Twitch lawsuit, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly after the lawsuit resol was resolved. Settlement said no one could speak publicly, but if one side violated, he could respond to calls out the which he called out the response to the ex Twitch employee Cody Connors for leaking that report, reported reason for the 2020 ban. Doc says there will be repercussions for accusing him, stating you don't know shit. You didn't have any first-hand knowledge. You said I sexed a minor through whisper messages. He's talking about and, and defines the definition of sexting. He defines the definition of minor. Says user was over legal age of consent at time of messages. And that's not the point here either. You don't know who's on the other end, too. It could be a dude. It could be something else or somebody else and all that, too. He also stated, too, he never intended to meet the user. They never made plans and never did meet, which I totally get. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Twitch's trust and safety team admitted the messages weren't sexting, acknowledging it didn't constitute child sexual abuse material. He says there was no exchange of sexual explicit images or images messages. He said he used the term inappropriate purposely in his intentional response, but said it was mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context, which stated Twitch never had a legal analysis on whether his messages were legal or not. And other people like legal theory and stuff like that and like some of the legal uh people that are on youtube and stuff said that uh their safety uh legal mumbo jumbo group or or committee or whatever it is they've got no legal real legal counsel so there is no actual legal definition or uh reason or anything behind that that would constitute anything lawful or unlawful so who the hell are these people nobody's they're just hired freaking guns for freaking Twitter. You know, just it's like these arbitrary, you know, violations on Twitter when it was under the old regime and all this stuff, you know. Notes, <clears throat> he further notes his ex Twitch partner manager never supported him and carried a grudge against him. That same partner manager is involved with him getting banned, supposedly. Twitch. Users, he was accused of inappropriate messaging, said they didn't want to report anything to Twitch. Reportedly, user was encouraged by ex-partner manager to report the situation to Twitch. Same partner manager personally escalated the situation to the Twitch law enforcement response team. This law enforcement response team has no lawyers on council. So they poll entirety of the whisper message doc says they cherry picked and choose few words out of context experts excerpts from the messages one hour later doc is suspended the ncmec was reported to for doc's messages case was not escalated to law enforcement twitch banned doc without legal analysis that is his messages were illegal 
Doc was banned without him or alleged victims being interviewed. The judge determined his messages weren't illegal, says he's 6'8", beautiful family life, accuses other Twitch swimmers of bad actors, but were accused, but were never banned. Someone using the N-word reportedly on streams was not a breach of Twitch policies. Strummers was reported doing things with dead animals and discussed PDFs, topics, but given a multi-million dollar contract, etc. There's been people that have been having sex on freaking twi on Twitch as well, too. So, what is Twitch? Is Twitch a gaming platform or a sex platform? Like freaking, you know, OnlyFans or something. It's ridiculous. Accuses Twitch of using this as a way to terminate his contract references two big streamers being signed to leave Twitch at the same time. I'm assuming he is accusing Twitch of freeing up capital, terminating Doc's contract to keep other streamers from leaving as Ninja and Shroud left for, for Mixer. Says he has more, just won't disclose. There are, are all these statements according to Doc. I'm wondering if this is going to open up another uh, legal can of worms which i think it should because these companies need to be held accountable and stuff and yes people are going to argue well they have a right to ban whoever they want not on false accusations made up it's not that's not how this works you know and i'm sick of people defending bullshit bullshit by arbitrary of these goddamn companies that operate under freedom of speech of the Constitution of the United States, and yet they go after us or they restrict our speech. Fuck Amazon and fuck the Twitter or Twitch and stuff. These companies need to be broken up. These soy boy motherfuckers in Twitch need to be dealt with. And I hope Doc takes them to the fucking cleaners, man. But I want to thank you all for listening. Tell me what you think down below. Like, subscribe, and share. Take care, everybody. Peace out.